Welcome to part 15 of how Japanese shoji screen is made. In this part you'll see the final test assembly. The shoji has now been sprayed and it is now to be fitted with the acrylic sheet. A sheet is placed on the workbench to protect the finished shoji. The unglued style is removed. and a previously cut piece of acrylic is prepared for insertion into the frame. The edges on both sides are filed down and this ensures that the acrylic will go into the groove as easily as possible. Particular attention is given to the corners because they are inclined to dig into the timber and, pre and prevent the piece from sliding well into the groove. The acrylic is supplied with a protective film and this is removed prior to the acrylic being inserted into the frame. All debris is removed from around the edge. And the style is placed out of the way to make it a bit easier to put the acrylic into the frame. The acrylic is quite flexible and it sometimes can be frustrating trying to get it into the groove. The groove is, is only just bigger than the acrylic, or the thickness of the acrylic. So there's not a, a very big clearance. In this case the rail was proving difficult.
Sometimes it goes in easily, other times it doesn't. I always do a, a full test assembly on every shoji to ensure that there'll be no problems when I do the final glue up. The acrylic just has to be coached sometimes from either side into the groove which is six millimeters deep There was an issue with this one and I eventually got it in. Because the spigots are 15 millimeters long, the spigots can be inserted into the frame before the acrylic actually touches the frame, because it only goes five millimeters into the frame. I, I make the spigots 15 millimeters long for that reason. It's particularly important when you've got a, a multiple number of horizontal Kamiko pieces which all have to be inserted one after the other small pads are used to protect the finished shoji from damage by the pipe.
And that completes part 15 of the series. And I thank you for watching.